Ever wonder what the opposite of hot is? Take a moment and think about it. Got your answer? If you said cold, then you're right. Hot and cold are opposites. When something isn't hot, it's usually cold. Isn't that fascinating? Now, how about big? Can you guess what the opposite of big is? If you're thinking small, then you're absolutely correct. Big and small are opposites. A giant mountain is big while a tiny pebble is small. Ready for another one? What do you think is the opposite of fast? Give it a thought. Did you say slow? Brilliant. Fast and slow are opposites. A racing car is fast, but a snail is slow. Moving on, can you guess the opposite of high? Is it low? Yes, it is. High and low are opposites. A soaring bird is high, but a crawling ant is low. How about the opposite of up? Is it down? Yes, indeed it is. Up and down are opposites. A floating balloon goes up while a falling apple comes down. Can you think of the opposite of happy? Did you say sad? Good job. Happy and sad are opposites. A smile shows happiness while a frown shows sadness. Now, what's the opposite of wet? Is it dry? You're on a roll. Wet and dry are opposites. A soaked sponge is wet while a piece of paper is usually dry. Can you guess the opposite of light? Is it dark? Absolutely. Light and dark are opposites. The sun gives us light, but the night is dark. What about the opposite of loud? Is it quiet? Yes, it is. Loud and quiet are opposites. A roaring lion is loud while a whisper is quiet. Lastly, can you think of the opposite of full? Is it empty? Great job. Full and empty are opposites. A full glass has a lot in it, while an empty glass has nothing. In this journey, we've discovered 10 pairs of opposites. Hot and cold, big and small, fast and slow, high and low, up and down, happy and sad, wet and dry, light and dark, loud and quiet, and full and empty. Isn't it amazing how words can have such contrasting meanings? Until next time, keep exploring the wonderful world of words.